Matahara Sanskrit, Matahara Matahara literally means the habit of moderate food. Matahara is also a concept in Indian philosophy, particularly yoga, that integrates awareness about food, drink, balanced diet and consumption habits and its effect on one's body and mind. It is one of the ten yamas in ancient Indian texts. Definition Matahara is a Sanskrit combination word, from mita, mita moderate, and ahara, ahara taking food, diet, which together mean moderate diet. In yoga and other ancient texts, it represents a concept linking nutrition to the health of one's body and mind. It is considered a yamas or self-restraint virtue in some schools of Indian traditions, where one refrains from either eating too much or eating too little quantity of food, and where one refrains from either eating too much or too little of certain qualities of food. Matahara is synonymous with matrasin. matrasin. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Literature. Ancient and medieval era Indian literature on Matahara are of two categories, one relates to philosophical discussion of moderate diet and proper nutrition, the other category relate to details about Aharatattva dietetics. The former category include the Upanishads and sutras that discuss why virtuous self-restraint is appropriate in matters of food, while the latter include Samhitas that discuss what and when certain foods are suitable. A few texts such as Hathayoga Pradipika combine both. The virtue of Matahara Matahara is discussed in Sandilya Upanishad, as well as by Svatmarama. It is one of the yamas virtuous self discussed in ancient Indian texts. The other nine yamas are ahimsa, ahimsa non-violence, satya, satya truthfulness, astya, astya not stealing, brahmacharya, brahmakaya celibacy and not cheating on one's spouse, kasama, kasama forgiveness, dirty, dirty fortitude, daya, daya compassion, arjava, arjava sincerity, non-hypocrisy, and sauka, sauka purity, cleanliness. Some of the earliest ideas behind Matahara trace to ancient era Taittiriya Upanishad, which in various hymns discusses the importance of food to healthy living, to the cycle of life, as well as to its role in one's body and its effect on self, Brahman, Atma, spirit. The Upanishad, states styles, notes from food life springs forth, by food it is sustained, and in food it merges when life departs. The Bhagavad Gita includes verses on Matahara in Chapter 6. It states in verse 6.16 that a yogi must neither eat too much nor too little, neither sleep too much nor too little. Understanding and regulating one's established habits about eating, sleeping and recreation is suggested as essential to the practice of yoga in verse 6.17. Another ancient text, in a South Indian language, Tirukkural states moderate diet as a virtuous lifestyle. This text, written between 200 BC and 400 AD, and sometimes called the Tamil Veda, discusses eating habits and its role in a healthy life Matahara, dedicating chapter 95 of Book 7 to it. Tirukkural states in verses 943 through 945, Eat in moderation, when you feel hungry, foods that are agreeable to your body, refraining from foods that your body finds disagreeable. Tiruvallava also emphasizes overeating has ill effects on health, in verse 946, as the pleasures of health abide in the man who eats moderately. The pains of disease dwell with him who eats excessively. Medieval era Sanskrit texts such as Dasakumara Charita and Hatha Yoga Pradipika discuss Matahara. For example, Hatha Yoga Pradipika verse 1.57 states the importance of Mitahara, as Brahmakari Matahari Tayagi Yoga Pariyana Abdadudvam Bhavadsido Natra Kariya Viharana Abrahmachari, practicing Matahara moderate diet and Tayaga renunciation, solitude, devoted to yoga achieves success in his inquiry and effort within half a year. Verses 1.57 through 1.63 of the critical edition of Hathayoga Pradipika suggests that taste cravings should not drive one's eating habits, rather the best diet is one that is tasty, nutritious and likable as well as sufficient to meet the needs of one's body and for one's inner self. 
It recommends that one must eat only when one feels hungry and neither overeat nor eat to completely fill the capacity of one's stomach, rather leave a quarter portion empty and fill three quarters with quality food and fresh water. Verses 1.59 to 1.61 of Hatha Yoga Pradipika suggests Matahara regimen of a yogi avoids foods with excessive amounts of sour, salt, bitterness, oil, spice burn, unripe vegetables, fermented foods or alcohol. The practice of Matahara, in Hatha Yoga Pradipika, includes avoiding stale, impure and tamashic foods, and consuming moderate amounts of fresh, vital and sattvic foods. Dietectics and Matahara Sharaka Samhita and Sushruta Samhita are among the two largest surviving compendium on nutrition and diet that have survived from ancient and medieval periods of India. Karaka Samhita emphasizes the need to plan and understand the role of diet in health, across chapters 5, 6, 25, 26, and 27. In verse 25.31, it states, Wholesome diet promotes health and growth, unwholesome diet is the most important cause of diseases. In verses 25.38 to 39, Karaka Samhita classifies foods into groups based on its source and taste, then categorizes them into nutritive and harmful. In chapters 26 and 27, it suggests that the same food can be nutritive in small amounts while harmful in large amounts or if cooked improperly or if eaten together with foods its lists. Food, claims Karaka Samhita, must be tailored to needs of one's body, state of one's health, climate, season, habits and personal palatability and needs. In the spirit of Matahara, in Chapter 5, it insists even light, easily digested and nutritious food should be consumed in moderation and should not be consumed in excess of bodily requirements. In Chapter 6, Karaka Samhita recommends that food should be tailored to the season, with rich and fatty foods being beneficial in winter, while light soups, fruits and acidulated drinks more suited for summers. In verses 6.6-7, it suggests that the diet should be planned and nourishing foods consumed in rotation, tailored to one's health condition and personal needs, as with Karaka Samhita, the other large compendium on health, Sushruta Samhita, includes many chapters on the role of diet and personal needs of an individual. In Chapter 10 of Sushruta Samhita, for example, the diet and nutrition for pregnant women, nursing mothers and young children are described. It recommends milk, butter, fluid foods, fruits, vegetables and fibrous diets for expecting mothers along with soups made from jingala wild meat. In most cases, vegetarian diets are preferred and recommended in the Samhitas, however, for those recovering from injuries, growing children, those who do high levels of physical exercise, and expecting mothers, Sutrasthanam's Chapter 20 and other texts recommend carefully prepared meat. Sushruta Samhita also recommends a rotation and balance in foods consumed, in moderation. For this purposes, it classifies foods by various characteristics, such as taste. In Chapter 42 of Sutrasthanam, for example, it lists six tastes, Madura sweet, Amla acidic, Levana saline, Katuka pungent, Tikta bitter, and Kashaya astringent. It then lists various sources of foods that deliver these tastes and recommends that all six tastes flavors be consumed in moderation and routinely, as a habit for good health. <laughs> <laughs> Related concepts The concept of Matahara is discussed in over 30 different ancient and medieval era texts of Hinduism. However, some texts use a different word and concept for the idea of moderate diet and paying attention to what one eats and drinks. For example, Shivayoga Dapika uses the term niyatashana planned, regulated eating, while Dattatreya Samhita uses lagrahara eating lightly, small portions of diverse foods. See also Ahimsa Satya Astya Brahmacharya Kasama Dirty Daya Arjava Sauka Akrida Dana <laughs>